Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Osman, and welcome back to House of Games. We've got a three-time winner this week already, three in a row. Can he make it four in a row today? If he does, he's going to be taking home that trophy. I'm almost sure of it. Who are our players, and can they stop him? They are Jen Brister, <laughs> Kelvin Fletcher, Dr Zoe Williams, and the hat-trick man himself, Ian Moore. Jen, we've got two stand-ups on the show, you and Ian. Ian has gone three from three. I know. The first two days, you lost by a point. I know, but yesterday I did get royally beaten. I, I've got yeah. to confess, my confidence is ebbing. Look how happy he looks, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no! Listen, if it's going to happen any day, it will be today. Yes. I feel it. Kelvin, shall we take a look at today's prizes? Yes, okay, let's. Today's the day that we deny Ian a prize. Uh, we have got a deck chair, a plant pot. We've got a bamboo lunchbox, a watering can and a dartboard. Which of those do you fancy? I guess the deck chair will be quite hopeful of a good summer. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And we love a deck chair. We love a deck chair, yes. Especially in the north. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you love a deck chair. Uh, Dr Zoe. Okay, should yeah. we take a look at the leaderboards? It's looking mm -hmm. very good for Ian. He's right at the top there with three wins. But, you know, you've had some good days. I've had sort I mean, of moments. Have you got a win in you? I think it's hope for the best, but expect the worst. Pre prepare for the worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Ian. Three in a row. Yeah. What's the tactics today? Just keep at it? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good today. And what prize do you think you would take home? Oh, definitely the dartboard. To... Zoe, what would you go for, do you think? Uh, the plump pot. Jen? I really want to go for the dartboard just because Ian said he wants it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for the... <laughs> Battle of the dartboard. Battle of the dartboard. OK, let's play Thursday's House of Games. Ian's won three in a row. Can he make it four in a row? Let's find out, shall we? Round one is... <laughs> Rhyme time. Fingers on buzzers, please. Two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Can you give me both answers, please? St. Louis rapper who had a hit with Hot In Here. And wobbly dessert that traditionally forms part of a trifle. <laughs> Dr Zoe. Nelly and Jelly. Nelly and Jelly. Well played, Nelly and Jelly. Lovely start to the show. Here's your next question. What is this? And what is this? <laughs> yes, Dr Zoe. <laughs> Kangaroo didgeridoo. Kangaroo didgeridoo? Very well done. <laughs> next one. Original drummer in The Beatles and evil character who melts in the film The Wizard of Oz. Yes, Ian. Pete Best, Wicked Witch of the West. Ooh. Can't turn down a Beatles question, can you? Absolutely oh. right. Pete Best, Wicked Witch of the West. Next one. Who is this? And what is the title of this song? Bang, 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 on the door, baby. Yes, Ian. Silla Black Love Shack. Silla Black Love Shack. I used to love oh. that show. Silla <laughs> Black and Love Shack by the B-52s there. Next two questions. Capital of Hungary. And Oscar-winning film with Nurse Ratched. Ian. Budapest, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Budapest, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> Absolutely. Final question in this round. Who is this? And what is this? Yes, Jen. Taylor Swift, forklift. Taylor Swift, forklift. I will use no other brand. Absolutely right. Well done, Jen. That is the end of our first round. Let's take a look at the scores. Kelvin keeping quiet with zero. Jen, you've got one. Zoe, two. It's back in the lead again. Ian Moore with three points. <laughs> Let's play our pairs game, shall we, today? That is going to be... Password, one, two, three. Kelvin, you are in last place. Who would you like to play with today? Monday's been my strongest day. Mm -hmm. I was with Jen, I think. We did really well as pairs, so... Did indeed. So, you sticking with Jen? Yep. Lovely. Kelvin and Jen are a team, which means Dr Zoe and Ian are a team as well. What we're going to do now is guess the internet passwords of celebrities. OK? Here are the celebrities you can choose between. Gemma Collins, <laughs> David Beckham, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Grace Jones. 
Kelvin and Jen, who do you fancy some questions about? I think the only one I might know anything about would be Grace Jones. Possibly a little bit about David Beckham. I know very little about all of them. I love Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, um, but I think your David Beckham or Grace Jones would be the... What do you think, David Beckham? David Beckham? Yeah, let's yeah. go, let's David. Go David Beckham. OK, we're going to guess David Beckham's internet password. And we do that by finding the answers to these two questions. These are his password hints. Which football club dedicated a statue to you in their Legends Plaza in 2019? And what number is also your daughter's middle name? So if you put those two answers together, you will get his password. You will have three attempts before you are locked out. So his daughter's middle name is... is a... Harper Seven. OK. So which football club dedicated a statue? Did you know who that is? Is it you? when he was over in Los Angeles, is it? L.A. Oh, um... Because he, he was LA in Galaxy. L LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy. Should we try LA Galaxy? Did you say seven? Yeah, LA Galaxy seven. So you're going to go LA Galaxy seven as I your mean, first guess? Let's yeah. take a look. Is David Beckham's password LA Galaxy seven? It is. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Wow. Kelvin, well that was done. all you. <laughs> Feeling Kelvin did a lot of that. He heavy did heavy. all of that. <laughs> I had nothing to offer. Very well played. First go. Nicely done. Dr Zoe and Ian, who do you fancy? Do you know much about Grace Jones? If you don't, we'll go with Dwayne I Johnson. Know, I know films she was in. I also think that, tactically, are they going to get another go? They are. Yeah, don't, don't, don't break Jen's heart. So I think <laughs> we'll take... Break. All Jen really wants is to answer We will take Grace, Grace Jones. Jones. <laughs> Grace Jones. Tactics, I like wow, it. Wow, taking it off the board. Wow. Grace Jones, so we've got to guess Grace Jones' internet password. What is the first name of the James Bond actor you starred opposite in A View to a Kill? And your character in that film shared her name with which ancient festival associated with a oh. UK bank holiday? So I know the second bit. I know the first bit because it's me dad. There we go. So it's Roger Mayday. Roger Mayday, yeah. Yeah. Roger Mayday, is that Grace Jones's password? We're not going to get two first guesses right in a row, are we? We are. Roger Yay. Mayday. Well done. <laughs> Jen and Kelvin, which of these two would you like to guess now? It, Dwayne. Well, it's got to be Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne Johnson you're going for. OK, here are his two password hints. In which film franchise do you play a video game character called Dr Smolder Bravestone? And although born in the USA, you are also a citizen of which country? Samoa. Samoan. Samoa, yeah, yeah Samoan. Yes. In which film franchise? Jumanji. It's the new Jumanji. Oh, Jumanji. Yes. Yeah, so. so Jumanji Samoa. You're going to go Jumanji Samoa as your first yeah. guess. Let's take a look. Jumanji Samoa. Is that the correct answer? What? Not. Mm. But you have one part correct. In J Jumanji, though, his revision of Jumanji is they become video game characters. It's a kind of mixture between real life and then. Step into so the video you game. think Jumanji is correct, and then Samoa is wrong. If he's not Samoan, well, maybe one of the be islands, Tong Tonga? Tongan. Should we go with? Let's Tongan? say Jumanji Tonga, and if it's comp nothing's right, then we know we got Samoa right. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go for it. Is it Jumanji Tonga? <laughs> it's not. You still have one part correct. So Jumanji's correct. Yeah. Is he from New Zealand? Is he Maori? I think he is actually. Yeah, Kiwi. Yeah. So. I don't know. Let's say Kiwi. Let's say New Zealand. So shall we? Should we go Jumanji, New Zealand? Jumanji, yeah, New let's Zealand. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, it's your last chance before you get locked out. Is it Jumanji, New Zealand? Oh. It's not. Let's take a look at the answer. Well done at home. If you said. Canada. Jumanji, oh, Canada. Oh, we were way off. Oh, I was way off. Jumanji, way, way off. Canada. He does have some own heritage. You're absolutely right. You're right, down okay. the right uh, line, I think. But yeah, he's a citizen of Canada. Now. This is fun, this Dr is Zoe, fun. Ian. Uh, we've got to guess Gemma Collins' password. And we'll do that by answering these two password hints. Which town in Greater London were you born in? And your 2018 book is called The GC, How to Be a What? OK, so she stars in TOWIE, The Only Way is so, Essex. So it's a town in Essex or something? Can you name some of the places in Essex? Romford, Braintree. Chigwell. The second one, how to be a... How to be a star? Maybe let's say how to be a star. Romford star? This might be star or superstar. Shall we go 
for Rumford Star. Rumford Star. OK, we'll go Rumford Star. Is that Gemma Collins's password? <laughs> it is not, but you have one part correct. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's good news. Well, should we try another town and keep Star? No? Yes. Should we try Chingford Star, then? Yeah, yeah. why not? Chingford Star. Let's take a look, shall we? Is Gemma Collins's password Chingford Star? You have neither part correct. Oh, so it is Romford. I mean, Superstar would be the only other thing I would... Yeah, I can't think of anything. I can't... Yeah, yeah. You're going to go does. Romford Superstar? Yes, yeah, please. Why not? So, Romford Superstar, is that Gemma Collins' password? <laughs> it is sure. not unlucky. Let's take a look. Do you know this one at home? Gemma Collins' password is... It's not really, of course. <laughs> Romford Diva. Diva. That is Rumford the word, isn't it? Diva. Oh. There you go. It's also my drag name. Um, <laughs> very well done if you got that one at home. That is the end of round two. Let's take a look at what it's done to the scores. Everybody off the mark. Kelvin, you have one. Jen, you have two. Zoe, three. Ian, four. Lovely and close between all of you. Let's get straight on and play round three, which today is... <laughs> When, when they're singing. Now, fingers on buzzers, everybody. This is how this round is going to work. You're going to hear the first few bars of the intro of a famous song. It will then be faded out. You've got to keep playing that song in your head until you think the first word of the song is sung. <laughs> and when you think it is, give a lovely firm push on your buzzer, please. And whoever is closest to the first word wins themselves a point at home. Get your phones out, get your stopwatches out, see if you can play along. Let's hear your first song and start your stopwatches now. So we still going. Go, oh, Zoe took a while. The song, of course, was Just Can't Get Enough by Depeche Mode. And here are your timings. Ian went first. Zoe held off for a long oh. time there. <laughs> Shall we have a little listen and see who's won the point? Good luck, everyone. That was very impressive. Very well played, Zoe. 22.24. Very well done if you got close to that at home. Let's do another one, shall we? Fingers on buzzers again. Start your stopwatches now. We've all gone in pretty early there. I think more confusion as to what the song was there this time round. Sound of the Underground by Girls Aloud. Kelvin, I mean, everyone, listen. I mean, let's just find out, shall we? Good luck at home. Let's play the song, see who's won the point. <laughs> Kelvin! Wow. Well done, Kelvin. You get yourself a point. Nicely done. Last one. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Everyone at home, start your stopwatch now. OK, everyone's in here. You in at home? So, Fast Car by Tracy Chapman is the song. Jen in first. Zoe, once again, the last holdout. Let's take a little listen, see who's won the point, see if you've got it bang on at home. Oh, oh, Zoe! Oh, 
<laughs> you should turn pro at this. Thank you to my boyfriend for that one, because he plays that's on our dinner playlist. So. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> well, Zoe, I'm going to give you two points for that. That is so oh, close for one over 20 seconds you. as well. Very, very <laughs> impressive stuff. That's the end of that round, which it turns out Zoe is unbelievably good at. Let's see what it's done to the scores. Here's how... Oh, I shouldn't really give you two points here, Zoe. Um, <laughs> Jen and Kelvin, you got two points each. Ian, you got four. Zoe is our leader with six points. Well wow. Zoe. Lovely awesome. round for you. Our next round is... Question writers, day off. Got some cards here. Now, our question writers work very hard, as you know, they do a grand job. So every now and again, we give them a day off. And when we do that, their children write the questions. They genuinely do. Here are the children and their ages as well, all the way from Kit, who's three, up to Martha, who is 11. You just need to choose one of those children. I will ask you their question. They always give me a little note about why they ask the question as well. Jen, how old are your kids? People tend to like choosing kids who are about yeah. their right, same age. So I've, my twin boys are seven. OK. So I don't have a seven there, so I'll go six. Yeah. And I'll see what Nola Nola, has to ask. one of the great stars okay. of this round, <laughs> Nola. Nola's question is this. Which F is this bit of my cat, not fur, as she has that all over? Mm. I mean... <laughs> Her first question on the show ever, Nola's first question, was, does Anthony like bananas? So you've... Uh, <laughs> you've, you've <laughs> what F is this bit of my cat? Is it the fluffy bit? Is it fluffy? It is not. Does anyone want to buzz in? Ian. Flank? Is it flank? Flank? She's six. It is oh. flank. Oh, I think you should have more respect for six-year-olds. I'm beginning to think this whole show is rigged. Yeah. <laughs> you're also starting to worry about your two seven-year-olds. The first thing, I know the first thing you're going to do when you get home is say, have either of you them. heard of a flank? <laughs> Teaching them the word flank, yeah. Uh, Nola says, I learned this from a book I have about being a good cat owner and I thought it was a funny word. Oh. Quite right, Nola, it is. It's a lovely question as well. Well played, Nola. Well played, Ian. Kelvin, who would you like to go for? I would like to go for Kit. Oh, here we go. That's what we like. <laughs> I've got a three-year-old, so hopefully it'll be oh, as entertaining as... Beautiful. Here we go. Here's Kit. What's my next superhero birthday cake going to be? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. That's a brilliant See, question. See, these are better than the actual question writers. That's the problem. My son loves Spider-Man, so yeah. I'm going to go for Spider-Man. going to go Spider-Man. Kit is the answer, Spider-Man. It's not. Jen. Batman. Is it Batman? It oh. is. It's a Batman cake. Well played, Jen. <laughs> Kit says, because I like Batman Lego movie. That's his, uh, oh, and that's a very yeah, good reason. That's a, great, like a great cake good as well. Movie. Well done, Kit. Yeah. Happy well birthday done. for when it's your birthday. <laughs> Zoe. Let's go with Sol. Sol, who is 10. Here's Sol's question. What shirt number does Messi wear at Paris Saint-Germain? Now, this is one my nephew would definitely know. Oh. Who let's, is... Let's get him on. Let's do, like it was let's do contestants' day off. Oh. I think I've actually bought him a Messi football shirt and I think it's a number 10. Number 10? Mm. not. Ian? 22. Is it 22? It is not. Jen? I've no idea. It's seven. <laughs> Is it seven? <laughs> oh, are you going to get the full set here, Sol? Kelvin. Eight. Is it eight? Oh. It is not. 12. Well done, Sol. You beat them all. The answer is... 30. 30. Oh, uh, you wow. were very unlucky there, Zoe. As Sol reveals, he didn't want to take the number 10 shirt from Neymar, and Sol adds, I play in goal. Ian, who would you like to go with? How old are your kids, Ian? A 21, 16 and 12. <laughs> OK. Ooh. I'm going to go with Raphael, because that's Raphael. my youngest son's middle name. They're usually name. quite high-end, Raphael's questions, I just warn you. Raphael asks, what tempo is another one bites the dust? Is it A, moderato, B, prestissimo, or C, largo? Oh, Raphael. Yeah. <laughs> the, you know what, Ian, you're not the first contestant to say that. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's moderato. I'm going to go with prestissimo. So prestissimo, says Ian. Is that the correct answer? <laughs> it is not. Anyone want to buzz in, Dr Zoe? Largo. Is it Largo? 
It is not. <laughs> hey, here we go. Guys, <laughs> is it moderato? Is uh, it moderato? Uh, it absolutely is oh, moderato. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just there. And right there in the front of my brain. Nicely done. I don't know how you got it. Um, Jen. Yeah. Who would you like to go with now? I'm going to go with Ella. I'm going to go with Ella. It's eight. So this is Ella's question. Which animal hosts horrible histories? It's a puppet, isn't it? And I should know, and I don't. Look, I'll just say mole, because I've got nothing else gotcha. in my brain. It's not mole, but... Ella, is the answer mole? It's not, is it, Ella? It is not, she agrees. Yes, Dr Zoe? I'm going to have a guess, complete guess. Um, this, I don't know why, the word just came to me. Sheep? It is not. Ian? I've no idea either, but uh, pig? No, it's not. Kelvin? A dog? No. It is not, no. Ella, you've beaten them as well. Which animal hosts horrible histories? It is a rat. Oh, it's a rat. Rat, rat that's in my the head. answer. Mole rat, come on, they look makes sense. sense. They do look similar. Ella says, me and Daddy watch this together and it makes us laugh. It's I a great show. I can't ask for anything more than that. It yeah. is a brilliant show. Kelvin, who would you like to go for? Go for Ollie. Go for Please. Ollie. Ollie asks, how high is Mount Everest in Evie's? And I should let you know that Evie is his cousin and she is 110 centimetres tall. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a question, Ollie. <clears throat> OK. Um, wow. <laughs> what's Mount Everest? 8,000 feet plus 500. Is the answer 500? It is not. If anyone gets close, I'm going to give this to you, by the way. Ian? 3,200. Is it 3,200? It is not. Jen? So, is it 7,800? Do you know what? I'm going to give it to you, because look at this. Just over 8,044 EVs. That was very close. No one was going to get that bang on with re with respect. No. Well done, Ollie. Lovely question. Yes, Evie is my cousin. She is 110 centimetres tall. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Evie, as well. Mm -hmm. Zoe, we've got Orla and Martha left. What do you think? Let's go, Orla. Let's go, Orla. Orla asks, what do I have for school lunch on a Wednesday? <laughs> that is what her question. Do I have school lunch on a Wednesday. Can I ask Orla, does she take a pat lunch or does she have a school meal? Yeah, a school meal. OK, so it'll be fish on Fridays. What would I give to a bunch of school children on a Wednesday? <laughs> I question, think Orla has <laughs> cottage pie. Cottage pie, is that the answer, Orla? <laughs> it is not. Anyone fancy this? Ian? Lasagna. A lasagna? <laughs> it is not. Jen? My kids have roast chicken on a Wednesday at school, so I'm going to go for roast chicken. You're absolutely right. It's oh a roast my dinner. Gosh. How about oh, that? I was going to say chicken. Wow. <laughs> that is really <freakish. laughs> That is really weird. <laughs> well played. See, Orla says, Orla's going to be disappointed, Jen, because she said, I thought this would be a hard question. You're absolutely right. And you wouldn't guess it. Oh, but Orla's Jen did guess sorry. it. Sorry. Third guess, it was though. A, it was Third a great guess. question. Ian, let's, <laughs> let's end this round, shall we, with Martha. Come on, Martha. My class pet is a phasmatidea. What is it? Um, <laughs> stick insect. Is it a stick insect? That, wow, Ian Moore, is exactly no. what it is. Very well done. Look at the shock on your face. <laughs> stick insect is correct. Martha says, we've been learning about the classification of plants and animals in school recently, and we even had sticky at home for the weekend. Round of applause for the kids. Great work. And let's take a look at the leaderboard going into our final round. Three wins in a row for Ian Moore. Is he going to make it four? Well, this is pretty close, isn't it? Kelvin with two. Zoe, Ian, Jen, six points each with one round to go. That's exciting. Here we go with our final <laughs> round, which is... <laughs> Genuinely feels tense in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Zoe. Come on, Jen. <gasps> come on, Zoe. Come on, Zoe. Come on, Jen. Just got to beat Ian. Ian. Come on, Ian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so come on, Kelvin. Sorry, what's, yeah. that, what's that, Britain? <laughs> it, it just echoed throughout Britain. <laughs> um, let's take a look at your first category, shall we? 
It is DIY equipment. Those will be the pictures. There'll be a point for a correct answer, a point off for an incorrect answer. Here's your first question. Very best of luck, everybody. Who played Don Draper in the TV show Mad Men? That is Jen. Um, it is... I've forgotten his name! This is... This is... Jen, I'm so sorry. No, I needed a buzzing straight away. Menopause Jim, brain. you lose a point. Oh, gosh. Dr Zoe. John Hammer. John Hammer? Ah. Uh, Absolutely right. John Ham and Hammer. John Hammer. <laughs> next clue, next picture. Which character from Moby Dick inspired the name of a coffee house chain founded in Seattle? Yes, Dr. Zoe. Star Bucket. Star Bucket is the right answer. Well done, Star Buck and Bucket. Your next category is dog breeds. So which dog breeds are these? And there are clues above them. What word denotes a coin-operated machine for playing music, often installed in bars? Dr Zoe. Jukeboxer. Jukeboxer. He's got another one. Well played, Dr Zoe. Jukebox and boxer. Next question, next dog breed. Which actor and socialite born in Budapest was married nine times, including to Conrad Hilton and George Sanders? That is Ian. Jar Jar Gabor de Colley. <laughs> That's the right answer. Well done. Jar Jar Gabor de Colley. Jar Jar Gabor and Gabor de Colley. Next category. <laughs> wow. Surely she's done enough. Surely. What a great day of quizzing. Well played, everybody. Lovely rounds, great scoring, great answers. Ian Moore was our champion on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It was more, more, more. Our champion on Thursday is... Dr Zoe well Williams. Done. Well played, Dr Zoe. Wow. Nicely done. You always believe. <laughs> you, you always believe, exactly. You've won yourself Kids. a prize. Back yourself, it can be done. Which, <laughs> you can beat Ian eventually. <laughs> uh, which of these would you like, Zoe? Well, do you know what? I'm genuinely so proud of myself. I want to be able to show off. I want something that people will see mm. in my house. So I'm going to go for the plant pot. Going plant pot. Mm. Lovely. Dr Zoe takes home a house of games plant pot. We have one day to go. Just one more day of quizzing. It's double points Friday, though. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard going into that day. Kelvin on five, Zoe on nine, Jen on 11, Ian on 15. Looking good for Ian, but it is double points. Jen, you are due a win, I have to say. Mm. You deserved a win. Ian's got Let's three, see. Zoe's got one. Shall we, for one final time tomorrow? Same time, same place. Look forward to it ever so much. Look forward to seeing you here as well on the House of Games. See who dares wins a plant pot. A beautiful red plant pot with your face on it, Richard. Oh, I love it. You can probably scratch it off. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Keep it. Never.